What is going on guys? Today WWE released the information for the WrestleMania 33 travel packages right off the bat this Monday, October 31st, yes Halloween at 10 a.m. Eastern. They will be releasing the packages to the world. You can buy them at that time on that day at WrestleManiaTravel.com. Now, if you, you know, by, by this point, you should already know if you're getting the travel package, who's going to be in your group, who's buying it for the group, because you do have to buy it for the entire group. So whoever is like the leader, that who that's who buys it for the group. You pretty much need to have a main person that puts it on their credit card, that checks into the hotel, that you know gets sent all the tickets. So that one person will get all the tickets. So all the WrestleMania tickets, the Hall of Fame, the NXT, the Raw, the Access, and in this case, SmackDown, if you want to go for a SmackDown. But they get all the information sent to them, which is something that you should have planned out you know, a long time ago. When you buy the package, I would be there at least 20 minutes early because you want to make sure that, you know, your internet's fine, that the site is loading. If there's like a line system, sometimes like for, you know, pre-sales, they might have like a line system where if you were on that site first, I don't know, it's a little crazy things that you just got to think about. Like if your internet goes out, that'd be really bad. You need a backup. Maybe you have people on a phone call, the other people you're going with on a group. Maybe you have them on Skype, something like that, just so everyone knows what's going on or keep them updated. Uh, you know, it, it's good to uh, keep people updated to make sure that you got it because in past years, for WrestleMania 31, I got the travel package, the one person travel package, and it came out on a Monday and I bought it on a Wednesday or a Thursday. So that means that there was like three or four days between the time they got released and the time that I bought it. Now, last year, they sold out in an hour. And that's crazy because people obviously realize that the travel package is the way to go. Now, if you've never been to a WrestleMania and this is going to be your first WrestleMania, or maybe you're going to go to a WrestleMania 34 or 35, and maybe you stumbled upon this video to you know, get some advice. Basically, the travel package is the way to go. It's a little more expensive and you have to put more money up at the time, but honestly, they do everything for you. They get your hotel, they get your tickets for every event, and they send it all to you a month before the event. It's not that crazy. It's like, it's, it's awesome because when I went to 31 and I got the package, like literally, I would see on Twitter all the people going crazy that, oh, this pre-sale didn't work. Oh, that pre-sale didn't work. Oh, no, I didn't get this ticket. Now, the only thing is if you do get like a, you know, a, a lower cost package that has, you know, maybe riser seats or in the 200s. Now, when it comes to access, you don't really get a VIP. So if you got like a, a you know, the lowest tier package and you want to meet Seth Rollins, he's obviously going to be a VIP. So that's something you have to buy extra. In my case, when I, you know, I got the package and I got two GA sessions for access and I got to pick the sessions and uh, they basically email you like pretty much like once a month, like saying, oh, we got your WrestleMania ticket. You're all good to go. We got your hotel. Uh, you know, you got this, that and the other. Uh, pick these access sessions. They pretty much say, hey, when do you want to go to access? Let us know. And then they pretty much give you the exact thing that you ask for. And then in my case, I wanted to meet Seth Rollins. So I went over and I got a Seth Rollins ticket. And uh, that was extra. That was not through the package people. So in that case, you have to go and, you know, on your own time or, you know, when they release VIP tickets for access, uh, unless you get like one of the expensive packages that actually come with a VIP access, you know, thing. Because some of them, which I'll go through in a, in a little bit, uh, some of them do come with VIP access, you know, sessions where you can pick one of the VIPs and, you know, sometimes they might have people that you wouldn't have thought of and you pretty much get that first dib, you know, if you get one of the more expensive packages. Basically, WWE hooks you up if you're willing to put up the money and honestly, I think it's the best way to go. I got a package for 31 and everyone, like all my friends that I went with, they were like, man, we really should have gotten the travel packages because we wouldn't be dealing with what we dealt with. And I know 32, they all went, they got the package, they got one of the craziest hotels ever. Like, their hotel was amazing because WWE hooked them up. Like, literally, they hooked them up. Now, you know, even my hotel for 31, it was awesome. Nothing compared to theirs, but my view was a lot better than theirs. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not a game. No one's winning, except I won. 31 was better. Anyway, um, I was going to, basically, I wanted to go through and uh, talk about each package and start off with the, uh, the one that I think I would probably get if I went to WrestleMania 
this year. So the gold package comes with your WrestleMania 33 ticket. It's on the Central Risers. If you want an idea of Central Risers, uh, go look up Stevie Breach's channel and go to WrestleMania 30 and go to WrestleMania 32. You can see where he sat. That's pretty much like a good range of the Central Risers like section, I guess you can say. When I went to WrestleMania, I sat on the 100 level. And I don't think they have like a 100 level package this year for whatever reason. Because the gold package is the Central Risers, but then the silver package is the, the Plaza level. So like whatever that means. Maybe that is the 100 level, but it's 200 for everything else. Anyway... If I was going to WrestleMania this year, I would go with the gold package. The gold package gets you the WrestleMania 33 ticket on the Central Risers. And as we can see from past, you know, Stevie Breach videos, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good view. It's pretty much below the 100 level section for like a football game. So you're kind of on the field, but you're on the risers that they bring in. So you're closer than the people who I'd normally get like a front row seat for a football game, if that makes sense. Next, you get a 100 level seat for Hall of Fame. When I went to the Hall of Fame, it was literally for like an hour and then I left, even though the seat was amazing, probably one of the best seats that I had all weekend. Then you get the NXT ticket, which is another 100 level ticket. Then you get a Monday Night Raw ticket. If you do go the extra days, so that's a four day package, you have to select a certain amount of days that you're going to be there if you want Raw. That's a little extra. And then something brand new this year, SmackDown Live. You get a SmackDown Live ticket if you want to go there for five days. I think this is pretty cool because, you know, they're already going to be there. So why not just have SmackDown a part of it all? So basically, that's five days. So you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and you leave Wednesday. Now, in certain people's cases, if they want to get there on the Wednesday and then they have Thursday, and then Friday their package starts, they're going to be there for an entire week. I think that is, it's crazy. I'm glad that it's an option, but I don't think that I would be able to do that. Like, just like, if I were to go to WrestleMania this year, I personally don't think I'd be able to do that. Because, I mean, even Friday to Wednesday is a, a lot to ask for. I think it's awesome. It's, you know, an option. And I would feel like I'd, you know, be missing something if I skip SmackDown. But, I think it's crazy. I mean, obviously they're not gonna like they're not gonna not have SmackDown in the same spot. It's a big deal. Everyone's there. Why not just have it? So you pretty much get a hundred level for SmackDown and Raw if you pick to go to those. And then WrestleMania Access is where it kind of it varies for uh, the different you know tiers of the package. For the gold package, you get two GA sessions where you can pretty much go and meet whoever you want and stand in line. It's a fun time. You also get round trip coach transportation from hotel to WrestleMania 33 and back. So that's pretty good. I heard that, you know, Stevie Breach and company did it last year for 32 and it worked out pretty well. You know, you don't have to really, you know, worry about driving. You don't have to park. You don't have to pay for parking. You don't have to like wait in the crowd of cars that are going crazy, hopefully after WrestleMania ends. So I, I don't know. It's, it's a good, it's cool something to have. Uh, and then you also get a Universal Orlando Resort ticket. You get to pick Universal's Island of Adventure or Universal Studios in Florida. I think that's a cool addition, honestly. Uh, you know, that I think that's if you go Monday. So if you're going to stay there on Monday and leave Tuesday, you get that. As well as, you know, if you stay for SmackDown, you get that as well. So I, I think it's pretty cool. They have a little deal with Universal Studios. And uh, I think that'd be worth it. You pretty much get to go see Universal Studios. Uh, and it's going to be mostly like wrestling fans. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then they have like the three, the four, and the five night uh, hotel accommodations. Which is always great because they always put you in an awesome hotel. And it's always near something. When I went to WrestleMania, it was right near Access. It literally was the same hotel as Access. I can go from my room all the way to Access without having to go outside at all. It was perfect. It was awesome. And it worked out. It's one of those things that WWE does that uh, I think is really awesome. So, the prices. Oh, man. You ready for this? You ready for this? Okay. For the gold package, for the five night, if you want to go to SmackDown, Raw, WrestleMania, obviously, that is going to be $2,875 for just one person. Now, if you have four people in your group, then it's $1,775 per person. So you get a discount for the more people that go, but it's obviously that bigger number that you're going to have to pay in total. So if I was going, I would get the one person, which is almost $3,000. So it goes up. It obviously went up from last year, but you get a lot more in it. So I think that's a pretty good deal. 
So, hey, if you're planning on going to WrestleMania, I say you need maybe like $4,000 to save up at least if you're getting a travel package. I'm sure it would be, you know, certain things were cheaper if you got them separately. Maybe you didn't want to sit on the central risers. Maybe you wanted to sit in the 100 level. Maybe you wanted to, you know, get a 200 level seat for Hall of Fame. You know, that that's, you know, that's that's you. But the price you pay for not worrying about pre-sales, like in my case, I'd have to leave class to do all these pre-sales. Or if you're, you know, if you're working and you have to, you know, leave work to go do this pre-sale, like all the pre-sales just add up and it's just not worth it. So that's why I think the package is like the way to go. So the silver package, I think you get pretty much like a hundred level WrestleMania ticket and everything else is 200 level. For the platinum package, you pretty much get premium central risers or the entrance ramp. And then everything is a premium hundred level for all the other shows. The VIP package, you get ringside rows five through eight, and you get a chair. So then everything else looks to be the premium, like 100 level, but you get to attend two VIP sessions for access. So if you want to sit close, if you want to, you know, go all out, VIP package is for you. The VIP package for five nights for one person is $5,000. And then it goes down if you have more people. For four people, it's $4,175 per person. So again, if you want to go all out, hey, more power to you. Because I don't think I'd be able to, you know, give up that much money. But some people want to have a crazy vacation where they, you know, go to WrestleMania and they sit front row or they sit real close ringside and they have the chair to show for it. So hey, that that's awesome, honestly. Like I don't think I'd be able to pay that much money for that. But if you do. That, you know, good for you, because I, like I said, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Are you ready for this? The Sunshine Package. This is the top tier as much as you can get. This is like, they're going to put you in like a million star hotel. Dave Meltzer couldn't even give this hotel the amount of stars it deserves. They're going to put you with WrestleMania 33 ringside rows one through four. And you get the collectible chair, but obviously you're ringside one through four now. They don't say if you're going to get, you know, TV side or non-TV side or behind the announcers or whatever. But hey, you get to sit ringside for WrestleMania. How crazy is that? Then you get to be on the floor for the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And if you want an example of that, go to Stevie Breach's WrestleMania 27 videos and you can go look for the Hall of Fame one. They were on the floor. They were like right behind the... Uh, like the superstars. Pretty cool. I think they sat behind like a couple refs. So you can't go wrong with that. NXT, you got ringside rows one through four. Again, pretty crazy. Same with Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. You get ringside rows one through four. Now, for WrestleMania access, you get to attend a premium VIP session and one VIP session. So what that means is the premium VIPs are normally $200. I think last year the premium VIPs were like Undertaker and Roman Reigns and Cena. And I think the normal VIPs were like Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, people like that. So they kind of tier them. You know, they kind of say, hey, these are worth $200. These are worth $100. So you get to pick first come, first serve. Who knows? Maybe Undertaker's going to have a, uh, a signing uh, for premium VIPs. And uh, you got a ticket because you're cool and got the package. You also get the transportation and, you know, you get the hotel and the, uh, you know, Universal Studios Resort picking thing you get to pick one of the things but you get an exclusive reception with wwe superstars holy cow basically the saturday before wrestlemania you get to uh i don't know what this is i mean maybe they're gonna have like a bunch of people and like hey go eat breakfast with them i don't know i'm sure it should be cool I, I i don't know what it is then the really cool thing you get a performance center experience with nxt superstars yes right down the road from nxt where they film it, you know, in full sale, the performance center, whatever, uh, you get to go to the performance center and uh, you go check that out because I'm sure a ton of people are going to check that out that weekend, but you get to uh, legally check it out and uh, you can watch live matches. You get to meet NXT superstars and you get lunch and round trip rotation and round trip transportation, but who cares about that? You get lunch. They're going to feed WWE is going to feed you lunch. So the price of this Get ready for this. I, I, if I drumsticks, I do a drum roll. But for one person, for the top tier package, it's going to cost you seven thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Holy cow! That's like a uh, that's a used car. You could buy a nice used car for that. I think. I don't know. But if you want four people going, four people, that's six thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars per person. 
I'm going to add that up right now. What the heck? <laughs> $25,500 that someone is going to have to put on their credit card. Obviously, you know, you're going to, you know, pay each other back, but $25,000 for four people to have the weekend of a lifetime at the grandest stages of them all, WrestleMania that you can see for free on the network. $25,000. That is insane. If anyone gets this package and they make YouTube videos, you'd be set. You would never have to worry about making another video again because your videos would just keep constantly getting views. That is, it just, just blows my mind. Oh my God, $25,000. That's how much like, like that's a good, what's a, oh my, I wish I could use that for school. So yeah, WrestleMania travel packages are the way to go in my opinion. Uh, I think that they're, you know, it's just easy. It, it, they get it done with. You don't have to worry about pre-sales. So uh, if you get the travel package, let me know and uh, leave it down below in the comments. And uh, let me know if you're going to WrestleMania. It'll be cool to see who's going to WrestleMania. You know, if you plan on going in the future, if you want to leave questions and I can answer them, let me know. Leave them in the comments and uh, share this video with people who need help with travel packages. Because like I said, 31 was my first WrestleMania. I got the travel package and uh, I'll never go back to, uh, you know, not getting travel packages because, well, I I've only been there once. So I only know travel packages. But I've heard stories and I've seen the struggle that my friends have gone through, and uh, I don't want to live through that. So, uh, good times. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope this helped you out. And uh, if you're going to WrestleMania, have fun at WrestleMania.